Now to Breathitt County. A year ago, Riverside Christian School in Lost Creek was like so many other buildings, almost unrecognizable. Our Bodie Brooks returned to find a familiar resilience within the walls, where once again children are learning valuable life lessons. This time a year ago, this entire hallway was underwater. School leaders didn't know if classes would ever be taught here again. But by a miracle, Riverside Christian School was not only able to return for the year, it's getting ready to start a brand new chapter. The last year has been, it feels like a whirlwind. It I, feels like 20 years wrapped into one, but it feels like it was yesterday. It's, it's the oddest thing. Principal Meg Asher was in the thick of it when they started scooping mud out of Riverside. We first met when the cleanup was just getting started in August. It got into the second floor of our building, so we know it crested right up under those window sills. This is Riverside today. No mud and clean floors. Asher says there were a few health challenges to make sure the building was safe. Students were able to start the school year by mid-September, bringing back a sense of something normal. We had students and their families that walked through so much, and there was so much loss. But just everyone getting to be back together, it was like just like little, this, these bundles of just hope and joy through the day. Every, everyone was dealing with trauma. Everyone was dealing with some sort of loss. And then all of a sudden we're back to school and it was a sense of normalcy. It was a sense of we get to see our friends. We're learning math. We have homework. But there was some adapting to do. The building isn't entirely back to the way it was. And so now we've, we've moved out, so it's very empty. Um, but it was decorated and like I was saying with the floor, instead of retiling, um, we just sanded down and made the concrete work. So we lost a handful of classrooms and offices that we just couldn't utilize just for safety. Um, if you walk through, your legs will fall through. <laughs> and then the moisture, you can see where we had to cut the drywall. So the moisture through that whole area. But we were still able to have PE classes and um, we have school-wide competitions called Purple and Gold Games. We are still able to do those. Asher says it didn't phase the kids a bit, but they've known long-term the building would not be sustainable. Right up the road, an opportunity appeared. This elementary school was being combined with another in the county, leaving it empty for a new tenant. Riverside raised $350,000 for its purchase just finalized this month. So we're in the process of moving right now, and we'll be able to start the next school year in that building. And the effort to fundraise doesn't stop there as they work to rebuild staff housing and restore a community park space. You can find a link to donate in this story on our website. Reporting in Lost Creek, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.